They're not easy to find, but when you see them, you won't forget it. To see that spout come up out of the water and uh, you know it's a whale, just like Moby Dick. <laughs> Paul Sosuerta should know he's been chasing whales since 2011 when he founded the research group Gotham Whale. That year, his crew spotted five whales. In 2014, that number became 106. This year, he's proud to say humpback whales have made a comeback, and he invited us to tag along for a peek. Okay, so right now we are on board American Princess Cruises, searching for whales in the New York waters. It's a little bumpy. Two times a week, Paul and his team are out and about in the New York Harbor and surrounding waters, searching, researching, and documenting these whales. Humpback whales were once on the endangered species list, but were taken off once an international ban on commercial whaling took effect. They're now back in abundance, but why in New York? Primarily, uh, the water is cleaner, the population of whales has been expanding, the uh, humpback whales have been taken off the endangered list. That's the success story of humpback whales. Now, tours are four hours. You might see a whale, you might not see a whale, or you might see something else. Do we know what that something is yet? <laughs> I just don't know how excited I'm supposed to get. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's right, dolphins are back in these waters as well. But just as dolphins and whales are emerging in these areas, so is human activity, and that's the concern. So what do you think? Is more regulation needed in this area? Tweet me at Diana Blast or the show at Chasing News. And if you want to learn more about Gotham Whale, go to GothamWhale.org.